uh, what do you think about yoga? Yoga is a very popular exercise among young people today, and I heard that it is actually a form of worshiping demons. Could you please tell the audience here, should we do yoga, should we not do yoga, or yeah, tell us your opinion. I would first say that exercise is a good thing. Exercise is a good thing. Okay. We should all exercise because the, the human body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to exercise and take care of our bodies. But people also need to make sure that they're not doing things that are contradicting the first commandment where God says, I am the Lord, your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. You know, the devil always wants to present evil as something good. And there may be people that begin the practice of yoga because they want to exercise but they don't understand the spirituality that's connected to it. Okay. So they begin with the best of intentions to want to do exercise, but then they get caught up in the spirituality that's associated with yoga. You know, the word yoga means yoke, meaning oh, you're know. yoking yourself to someone. Now, Jesus says in scripture, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The goal of the Christian is to yoke ourselves to Christ and to be one with Christ. The we danger with yoga is that if we're yoking ourselves to something, what is that if it's not Christ? And that something could be something evil. Because again, a lot of the postures within yoga are forms of worship to pagan deities. And some people would say that these pagan deities are nothing more than demons who have been masquerading as gods, if you will, over the millennia. You know, I don't think that most people, when they practice yoga, believe that they're worshiping demons. Yeah. But again, that may be how the devil tries to get a foothold into our lives. He presents it as something good, and then we get caught up in uh, the practices that go with it. You know, if somebody's practicing yoga, my question to them would be this. Are you still devout in your faith in God? Are you still going to church as a Catholic? Are you celebrating the sacraments? Are you reading the Bible? Are you praying? Or has yoga become a substitute for all of that? And if yoga has become a substitute, that might be an indication that the devil is using it as a tool to move people away from God. Again, remember, the devil wants us to live as if God did not exist and for us to treat ourselves as if we are the final authority and not God. So the danger with yoga is that we are connecting ourselves with something that is certainly not God. Not 